In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to replace the Human Touch Novo XT or XT2 massage mechanism harness. As you can see, we've tipped the chair up onto a box. This is just to make it a little bit easier to work with the rear shroud. This isn't necessary. First thing we're going to do is use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the three screws that secure the rear plastic shroud. They're located along the back there, actually underneath the back of the shroud. Then we can slide the shroud up and tip it to the side out of our way. Then again using a Phillips head screwdriver we'll remove the two screws that secure the PCB cover. And remove that cover. Next, we're going to remove the six screws that secure the plastic back cover. and we can remove that cover. Before we start disconnecting the harness from the massage mechanism, use your phone to take a picture of the backrest area here because it's critical the way this harness is um, routed. So take a picture of the harness routing. Um, and coming in closer here, it's important to note how these connectors are zip tied here. You're going to need to want to duplicate that and note where the harness is zip tied, how the harness comes down and comes in that loop there. That's critical, absolutely critical to the massage mechanism functioning properly as it rolls up and down the backrest. So take a picture with your phone um, because you will need to duplicate this. Now we're ready to start. Um, cutting the zip ties that are securing the connectors and cables to the massage mechanism. You can see the two zip ties that secure those connectors, one that secures the cabling to the motor, and another one behind there. And we're going to have to disconnect one connector to the piece, little PCB up there. So, but before we start disconnecting actual connectors, oh, there's another zip tie up there. We're going to need to cut in order to free that connector from that little board. Okay, once we can see that all of our connectors are free, but before you start disconnecting connectors, um, I want to comment, if you have the printed instructions, you don't need to worry about this, but in case you don't, all of the connectors coming from the motors are white, so you need to pay attention to which motor, which connector goes with which motor. So starting from the left, the motor on the farthest left connects to the yellow connector. The, the second motor connects to the red connector. 
the third motor connects to the blue connector and the fourth motor connects to the black connector. Okay, so again, if you have the printed instructions, just refer to those, but um, again, so it's yellow, red, blue, black. Um, and then obviously that little connector goes up to the board. So once we're clear on that, you can start disconnecting uh, those connectors. There's um, probably some hot glue on that connector. You can carefully with the wire cutter uh, making sure not to damage the board or the neighboring connector. Get rid of that hot glue. Next, we need to use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the ground wire screw from the frame. Now we're ready to start cutting the zip ties that secure the actual harness. Before we do that, go again, make sure that you have taken a good picture of how this harness is routed, um, attached to the right hand motor there and how it comes down and loops around and is secured to the chair frame, um, as again, this is critical when installing the new harness. And once you're confident that you've got that, you can begin clipping all of the zip ties to free the harness from the chair frames. Next, we'll use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the ground screw down here. Next, we need to take the left-hand side panel off. So we'll use a six millimeter Allen wrench to remove the bolt that secures the front of the panel. and then slide the panel up and forward to remove it. Detach it just far enough to detach the air hoses. Removing that side panel exposed three additional zip ties that are securing that harness. So we can cut those. And continue threading that harness through the frame. Next we need to tip the chair onto its right hand side. And then we can pull the harness through 
to the bottom side of the chair. Okay, we have one last zip tie to cut and then we're ready to pop the lid on this junction box which is on the inside there so you have to reach around to the back and pop the lid off that connector junction box. Then you can pull the harness connectors out of the junction box and disconnect the connectors. To install the new harness then, you can connect the connectors, making sure that they lock. You can hear them snap into place, push them to make sure they're in there as far as they'll go. And then we're actually going to start with the other cable that was in that junction box. Positioning the connectors inside the junction box with the cables going out the top and bottom out of the slots. And then do the same thing with the massage mech harness. Put the connectors in the box with the cable going out the top and bottom slots. Then you can kind of hold the cables with one hand to ensure that the cables are remaining in those slots. And then with the other hand, place the cover into position and then snap it into place. Obviously, if those cables are not in the slots, the cover is not going to be able to snap into place. Next we're going to install a new zip tie around this nest of cables here. The purpose is just to kind of keep them neatly secured to each other out of the way. Um, so just grab all of those tie, uh, cables there and surround them with one zip tie and secure them together. It's not critical of the exact location of the zip tie. There you go. You can cut the excess zip tie. Next we need to carefully feed the harness to, on this side of the chair frame, carefully one segment at a time without damaging any parts, and then pull it through on the other side. And then we'll add another zip tie here to secure all the cables together. Now we're ready to return the chair to the upright position. Next we're going to feed the harness up through the chair frame. And over to the back of the chair. And then we're going to install three new zip ties in the same locations where they were previously. Okay, we can cut all the excess zip ties.
And also note that none of the air hoses are uh, restrained by the zip ties. The air hoses need to all be free. Next we're ready to put the side panel back on. To do this, first we need to place it in a position close enough to reinstall the air hoses. And those hoses are numbered, so match the hose number with the number of the fitting on the side panel. And then we're going to slide that bracket on the side panel onto the post on the chair. And that bracket and the front of the side panel rests on the ledge on the side of the chair. And then you, once those are aligned, you slide the side panel back to slide that bracket over the post and check to make sure the screw holes aligned. Might take a little bit of jostling. See, there we go. And then once that's all aligned, we can replace the six millimeter Allen screw to secure it. It's a good idea to visually make sure those holes are aligned before attempting to install the Allen screw. Now we're ready to install the ground wire and we're going to install it on the back side just to make sure that uh, the back cover doesn't rub against it. Next we're ready to secure the harness to the horizontal frame here and we're going to use the holes that are in that frame. It's important as you do this that the cable is not up over the screw hole there because that's where the backrest cover um, is attached. Leave this third zip tie a little bit loose until we are sure that we have the harness um, all the way secured and, and having the correct shape. Next we're going to install the first cable tie toward the top and this one we're going to keep loose as well. This will just hold the harness in place up toward the top for now. And this goes through the, there's a slot in the bottom of that motor for the cable tie. Next we're going to install a cable tie through this hole in the metal frame that's directly under that second motor from the right there. Um, it's imperative that you do not wrap it around that metal shaft, that horizontal metal shaft there. It needs to go through the hole that's in the black frame.
And again, we're going to leave this one loose as well. Next, we're going to install another zip tie through the hole in that horizontal black frame there. Like so. Also leaving that loose. Before we start connecting connectors, we need to remove these, these um, special zip tie pieces that were there from before. Um, we're not going to use those kind when we are resecuring cabling. So just pry those out of there with the pliers or something. Next, we're going to plug the blue connector into the little board up here. And then You'll see he installed zip ties in the two holes where we just removed those um, special kind of zip tie things so that we can now align the cable up there and then use those zip ties through those holes to secure the connector cable to the frame there. Next, we'll attach the ground wire to the chair frame. You can see he just kept the screw there for safekeeping. Now we're ready to connect all the motor connectors. Starting from the left to the yellow connector, the next motor is, goes to the red connector, the third motor from the left goes to the blue connector, and the motor on the right goes to the black connector. Next, we're going to use zip ties to secure each side of the connectors together. This is just to ensure they don't become disconnected as the massage mechanism moves up and down. Now we're ready to start gathering up these connectors and securing them um, to that metal tray like we did before. We're going to start with the red and yellow connector on the left, but it's important that we tuck those two cables coming from that left-hand motor there, and left-hand two motors, up behind the two connectors so that they're not sticking out. And then when we um, wrap a zip tie around those connectors, we're going to also wrap it around those two cables. So we'll secure all of that to that metal tray.
like so. You can see these two cables here are in there nice and tight. And then we'll do the same thing with the blue and black connectors, uh, securing that cable behind it as well. You can cut the excess zip tie. Okay, so as we can see, our harness is not in the shape it needs to be. So we need to twist the harness into the proper shape. That looks pretty good. So once it's in the proper shape, then we can tighten our zip ties, starting with that one at the top there, and then the ones to the left, and then the one on the bottom to hold the harness in that shape. And again, check that shape against your, um, if you don't have this video with you, check that shape against your phone when you're out in the field uh, to make sure that it has that nice loop there. And then cut all excess zip ties. It's a good idea to plug in the chair and power it on and run the massage mechanism up and down to make sure that that harness is folding appropriately and not catching on anything. You can do this by going into manual mode on the remote and selecting shiatsu. Note also, as the mechanism travels all the way out into the chair seat and extends to its furthest position, that the harness, as the harness extends out, make sure that it's not, that it still has, you know, a little bit of slack in it, that it's not pulling tight. If it's for some reason pulling really tight, that means you have slack somewhere in your harness installation. There really shouldn't be slack um, at either end of the installation or up by the cables or anything like that. All the slack should be in the area of the harness that moves. Now we're ready to slide the rear shroud into position. And we can replace the three screws to secure it. Now we're ready to install the backrest cover. You'll notice the two tabs on the bottom of the backrest cover, and there are two slots if you look in the back um, of the chair. So obviously the two tabs need to go into the two slots. So we'll start by doing that, and then we can fold the cover up into position. And when that's all aligned, we can replace the six screws to secure it.
Then we can plug in the chair, power it on, and make sure the chair is working properly.